Hello and welcome to AEF TV in association with Angerati. I'm joined now by Sean Long from Endeavour Energy. And uh, Sean, firstly, thank you for taking the it's time to pleasure. join us. It's a pleasure. Uh, thank nice you. Nice to have you here. And uh, Sean, you, uh, Endeavour Energy is a new company. I, uh, it's probably not new to you. You've probably been involved in the process of it. And when we were talking off air, we uh, uh, you said that you're focused on the thermal and hydro side of things with a particular uh, geo market focus of Africa. Right. Um, and whenever someone launches a new company to do something, uh, they usually have done uh, a lot of work in terms of finding a gap and finding sure. a need and saying, well, that's why we're going to do it because we're going to fill that gap. Sure. Sure. What did you guys see in Africa where you said, right, okay, yeah, here's, here's what we can fill or, or here's the opportunity? Well, for us, for Africa, it was pretty easy. Um, Africa, uh, most African countries are growing at a tremendous pace. Um, even after the financial meltdown, Africa has continued to grow. And as a result, the um, power um, supply needs have continued to grow. You know, Africa, on average, has the lowest per capita use of electricity in the world. Not because people don't want to use electricity, it just but because it doesn't there. exist. Right. Exactly. And so what Endeavor Energy is focused on is building new power generation, um, thermal plants and hydroelectric plants in Africa to help fill this need. And you know, virtually every corner of Africa needs additional power generation. And, um, and we're, Endeavor is focused on helping put these projects together and build them and construct them and operating them. So, so, so Endeavor is basically uh, 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 as an organization, you will get the right people together and then bid for a particular project and then run that project and see it through all the way yeah. from construction? Or you Endeavor is, yeah. um, the senior management team of Endeavor are folks that have 20 plus years of experience developing power generation projects in emerging markets around the world. Um, uh, our senior management team have completed uh, 25 power projects in 16 countries and having raised um, over three billion dollars um, to do that. And so we have a group of folks that are highly experienced in, in doing this and I personally have been involved in, in, in developing power generation projects in Africa since 1997. Right. So a long time. Yeah. Um, and uh, the time period is actually very unique. I mean there's never been it's almost as if there's an inflection point in Africa to help African countries um, develop power generation, which is a cornerstone of any um, any economic growth. Well, well I, I get I get that sense with um, you know, especially from a lot of the interviews with the uh, regulators and the ministers and, and uh, sure. everything. Uh, certainly, at an individual level, uh, you know, without diving too deep, I do get the sense that they, they were all sat in that chair and they were like, hey, right, we need help. Right. You know? But we also recognize that in order to get that help, we need to get our house in order. Right. You know, we, we, need, we need to create stability. We need to create an environment for investment and things like that. So one of the questions I was going to ask you is, uh, you know, what are the conditions that you guys would look for where you say, okay, well, these conditions need to be met in order for us to bid for a project and, and, sure. and get involved? Sure. There's a few conditions for us. Number one, there's a need for new power generation, and we find that in many African countries. The second is that we can supply uh, new power generation at prices that actually reduce the cost of power in country, because our view is, to, uh, is, is we want to provide a long-term solution in country, not just to provide new uh, power generation, but actually help um, lower the cost of power, which in turn will help continue the uh, economies to grow. And, and how, how do you see that happening? Is, is that because the new plants, are, uh, the, the, there's more efficiency in there, the, the, or, or, and you can, uh, you can come in and uh, you know, the, the, there's just better yeah. operational efficiency? Yeah. Is, is it in those areas where you can reduce the power, or, or, the, or the, sorry, the cost of it's power? It's in two primary yeah. ones. Number one, um, IPPs, as independent com companies, tend to operate pretty efficiently as compared to um, traditional nationally run um, utilities, uh, number one. But also there are changes in resor energy resources available. For example, in Ghana, 
Um, they have now a new supply of um, natural gas. Also, the West African Gas Pipeline is built, so they're bringing natural gas from uh, Nigeria. And so now you can grow out that instead of running heavily on diesel fuel imported, mm -hmm. which is very expensive. Mm -hmm. You can now build um, uh, utility scale generation using these new resources. Which are provide, local. Which are like local, that. lower cost mm -hmm. solutions. Mm -hmm. um, additionally, um, many of the multilateral countries, the G8 countries, are very focused on helping um, African countries improve their infrastructure. So they're investing a lot of capital in transmission lines, distribution lines, which is actually getting the power to the end user. And all this is helping yeah. um, tremendously. And, and it, yeah, I suppose there's no point building a whopping great big power plant if you can't get it to, the end. Get it exactly. to, uh, uh, exactly. to anybody. And uh, the other thing that kind of came across uh, 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 as a desire, and in some cases already a reality, is this concept that I get a sense that people are thinking more about uh, sort of uh, uh, generation regions or uh, yes. things like that. That, okay, well, we've got the potential of great hydro here yeah, right. uh, and maybe solar there and gas there and right, things like that. And, right. and the, the, this cross border thinking. Exactly. Are, are you, uh, would you corroborate that? And, and, no. and where, where is it? In well, the scale. absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, what, what they're called are power pools, essentially. Mm -hmm. And these regional power pools are an important aspect of um, solving multiple countries' energy solutions. So, for example, one country may have uh, abundance of natural gas where their next door neighbor may not. Mm -hmm. And so it's more cost effective to build a power generation facility uh, in that country and export power out to, to another country. Mm -hmm. And that's a, a very important piece to, to this puzzle. And I think you'll see that happening more and more because as countries think about their mix of energy solutions, um, they want to, the lowest cost and the most reliable. Yeah. And that requires a mix of, of, of uh, well, that's solutions. Well, that's the other thing that's coming through, through loud and clear. I mean, you, you can't you need that balance you need that uh, you need that balance mix so uh it's amazing how quickly sort of 10 minutes kind of flies <laughs> so we're, we're coming to to the end of our time here and uh, uh i'm going to pose you the same challenge as i do most of my interviewees sure. because uh, uh, uh unlike me uh, and i've been here for for the two days you've had a chance to walk around sure. take in some of the sessions and everything um, and if I can, for a minute, second you as my roaming reporter, uh, what, would your, what would your feedback be? What's been uh, to you like the most uh, sort of exciting type of uh, yeah. conversation that you've seen here? Well, number one, um, the African Energy Forum has, I think, never been as big and successful as it is uh, today. And that's a result of, you know, sort of the, the huge focus. There's uh, lots of capital now focused on helping African countries continue to grow, to um, wrestle with the problems that they're faced. And the interest uh, is tremendous. Um, and uh, it's kind of interesting because uh, I'm starting to see a lot of the old friends that uh, I've seen in the past who are now really excited yeah. about doing this and making this a success. Yeah. Well, that, that is, that it kind of feels palpable when you when you just yeah. look around and you, you know some of the evening sessions yesterday the amount of uh, what certainly at a distance seem very serious exactly. conversations no, that, absolutely. Uh, 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 that are happening uh, so uh, just on the flip side is there is there a conversation where you you uh, you may have seen you may have taken part of where you're like going uh, you know you're just sat there look I can't believe we haven't solved this one already. You know, we've been talking about it for 10 years now. Why haven't we done that? Is there, is there any one of those things that come to mind? Well, I don't think so. I'm sort of philosophical about it. And what I see... You strike me as an optimist as well, so... Well, as a, as a developer, you have to be. But what, what's, what's very interesting um, is that I think across the board, when you think about the leadership in Africa, everyone is focused particularly on energy solutions, because everyone knows that's the cornerstone of any economy. And um, what's striking is people, we're actually having serious, detailed conversations about how do we resolve this problem? How do we come with solutions? And uh, it's unique, it's a new time period. And I think Africa's at an inflection point yeah. uh, to do that. And, and like you say, there's that realization that 
in order to solve that problem, you need to look at everything. Exactly. You know, and, and there, there, there's a lot of been said about Africa doing a leapfrog in terms of having a different type of approach no, to it. Exactly so, right. uh, Sean, it's been great talking to it's you. It's my pleasure. Uh, and, I, and I hope I can uh, talk to you further at, uh, uh, at other shows we run. I look and, forward to uh, it. And uh, thank you as well for watching.